Yeah. Those, those are obviously pretty tough conditions for, for the offense. You, you guys really yeah. thrive when it's raining hard like that. And you guys can probably make a few more plays on the ball and cause a few more breakups. Um, practice in the rain, it gets both sides better. Obviously, we play in Pullman. It's going to get everybody better, both sides of the ball. We all get ready for the season. We always have a game like this every year. Colorado two years ago, Arizona last year. UW, we always going to play like this, so it gets both sides of the ball better. Is, is, is that as bad as if you've ever seen it rain in, in Poland since you've been here? Yeah. It's worse. <laughs> <laughs> it also seems to bring some kind of excitement. You guys are you know, yelling, and it seems seem like both sides of the ball are pretty pretty excited, more excited than normal when you made a few plays. Yeah, it was more gritty today, more rainy, more like backyard football. You more tackling puddles, everything. But it was more gritty today. It's a good day for both sides of the ball. George, just top to bottom, do you think it's safe to say that there's more talent in the defensive backfield maybe than there was in, in past years? Uh, we're a good group. We have plenty of guys in the room that can play. From me to Marcus, Derek, Daniel Armani, we have plenty of guys in the room that can play. We have four to five guys who can all play and start. We have tons of good guys, tons of talent in the room. You've, you got four JUCO guys who just came in. How would you assess how they have adjusted to you know, Division One football? They've all picked it up fast, all of them. They've all, they got all the plays. They know everything. They've been making plays. They've all came in. They're all going to contribute this season. Good players. It seemed like the offense was a little rowdier today. Did that get the defense going a bit more? Uh, no, we defense, we pride ourselves. We, come, we pride ourselves on coming out and taking it to the offense every day. We want to come out and not let the offense dictate what we do, more so just being like, we're going to have a good day no matter what the offense is, but when the offense is competing to it, it brings the best out of both of us. What do you think having Skylar Thomas consistently play at nickel and having some set, some success there is going to do for you guys in pass coverage especially? Um, Skylar, having Skylar there is almost like having Hunter Dale still there. Like two leaders, two great players. They can do everything they cover. They tackle us, two leaders. It's not too big of a drop off. It's two great players. Helps the defense out big time. And then on the opposite side of the ball, I mean, Anthony and other players have talked about the strides he's tried to make to, you know, be more vocal and take more command under center. If you noticed Anthony making some improvements there and just really settling in, um, all of our quarterbacks have made strides since spring ball started. All of them. All of our quarterbacks have became more leaders, made plays. They've all taken strides. Where have you made strides personally in the last few years? And now you're obviously getting, getting an opportunity to play more with the first team and kind of be in that, be in that spot that you probably envisioned a couple of years ago. Um, I've grown more off the field in the meeting room. It's just small things, paying attention to detail and the small things. I feel I, I could always play, but I've grown in terms of paying attention to the small things and details. Is that an adjustment for, for most college players? You, you think spending more time in meeting rooms and kind of doing more of that stuff than you, than you did in high school? Yeah, yeah, it's a big adjustment. What, what did you learn from, from Coach McBath? The one thing that maybe, maybe that sticks out the last few years? Attention to detail. Coach McBath's a great coach. Attention to detail. He always prides us. Attention to detail is a big thing. In terms of just paying attention, breaking down film, you know, the mental game, just how much of an asset and help has Marcus Strong been with that with you? Uh, he's helped the whole group. Marcus has helped the whole group. Marcus is almost like Coach McBath has understood. He's helped the whole group, me, Daniel. All the Juco guys, he's helped the whole group with technique, plays, different coverages, different alignments. And the film room, Marcus has helped the whole group. He's been a great leader. Thank you, George.